Hello everyone. The cement strength is a very important mechanical index and one of the key factors affecting the concrete strength structures. Today we are going to learn about the calculation and judgment of cement strength. The sequence of the cement strength test is to break first and then compress. That is, the flexural strength of cement in a group of three specimens shall be measured first. And then, the compressive strength shall be measured with six broken cement specimens. The calculation of cement strength includes the calculation of flexural strength and compressive strength. It is calculated based on the determination of strength of cements, ISO method, GBT 17671-2021. Whether the calculated cement strength is qualified or not shall be judged according to common Portland cement GB175. We first calculate flexural strength, and that of a single cement specimen can be directly read from the instrument. If there are three measured values for a group of flexural strength, the results can be evaluated in the following three cases. 1. Generally, the average value of a group of three results is taken as the test result. 2. When one of the three values exceeds plus or minus 10% of the average value, remove it and take the average value of the other two results as the test result. 3. When two of the three strength values exceed plus or minus 10% of the average value, the remaining one shall be taken as the test result. This is similar to the scoring principle of diving. There are 10 judges removing one highest score and one lowest score and taking the average of the remaining scores as the athlete's score. Please note that the single flexural strength and average value are accurate to 0.1 MPa. Immediately after the flexural test, six test specimens shall be subject to a compressive test. RC equals FC divided by A, that is, the force divided by the compression area, where A is the area of the compression fixture, 40 mm by 40 mm. The compressive strength results are evaluated in the following three cases. 1. Generally, the arithmetic average value of six measured values of compressive strength in a group is taken as the test result. 2. When one of the six measured values exceed plus or minus 10% of the average value, remove it and take the average value of the remaining 5 as the result. When any of the five measured values exceed plus or minus 10% of their average value, this group of results is invalid. 3. When two or more of the six measured values exceed plus or minus 10% of the average value, this group of results is invalid. As with flexural strength, both single compressive strengths and average values are accurate to 0.1 MPa. Let's look at a case. The following table shows the measured strength of ordinary Portland cement for 3 days and 28 days. Calculate the representative value of strength and determine the strength grade of ordinary Portland cement. We first calculate the representative value of 3-day flexural strength. The strategy is divided into 3 steps. Step 1. Calculate the average value. The arithmetic average of the three measured values is 3.7 plus 3.9 plus 4.2 divided by 3 equals 3.93, rounded to one decimal place, approximately equal to 3.9 megapascals. 
Step 2. Determine the deviation. Determine whether these three measured values exceed 10% of the average value. 1. Let's first determine the difference between the maximum value of 4.2 and the average value of 3.9. 4.2 minus 3.9 divided by 3.9 times 100% equals 7.7% less than 10%. 2. Then, determine the difference between the minimum value of 3.7 and the average value of 3.9. 3.9 minus 3.7 divided by 3.9 times 100% equals 5.1%, less than 10%. Since the difference between the maximum and minimum values and the average value is less than 10%, we can infer that the median value of 3.9 will also differ from the average value by less than 10%. 3. Finally, we judge that the difference between these three values and the average value is less than 10%, which does not exceed the deviation range. So the arithmetic average value is taken as the representative value. Step 3. Determine the results. The representative value of 3-day flexural strength is 3.9 megapascals. Next. We calculate the representative value of 28-day flexural strength in three steps as above. 1. Step 1. Calculate the average value. The arithmetic average of three measured values is 6.6 .6 plus 6.8 plus 8.0 divided by 3 equals 7.13, approximately equal to 7.1 megapascals. 2. Step 2. Determine the deviation. First, determine the difference between the maximum value of 8.0 and the average value of 7.1. 8.0 minus 7.1 divided by 7.1 times 100% equals 12.7%, greater than 10%. Determine the difference between the minimum value of 6.6 .6 and the average value of 7.1, 7%, less than 10%. Then, determine the difference between the median value of 6.8 and the average value of 7.1, 4.2%, less than 10%. Final judgment. If there is a value of 8.0 exceeding the average value of plus or minus 10%, then according to the calculation rules, after removing 8.0, the average value of 6.6 .6 and 6.8 shall be taken as the flexural strength test result. 3. Step 3. Determine the results. Representative value of 28-day flexural strength equals 6.6 .6 plus 6.8 divided by 2 equals 6.7 megapascals. Next, we will calculate the representative value of 3-day compression strength in three steps as above. 1. Step 1. Calculate the average value. The arithmetic average value of the six measured values is 18.9 plus 21.3 plus 21.8, plus 19.9, plus 23.1, plus 22.7, divided by 6, equals 21.28, is approximately equal to 21.3 megapascals. And note that it should also be rounded to one decimal place. 2. Step 2. Determine the deviation. Determine whether these six measured values exceed 10% of the average value. For the convenience of calculation, we adopt the number line method to calculate the range of plus or minus 10% of the average value first, and then observe whether the six measured values fall within plus or minus 10%. 1. Arithmetic average value plus or minus 10% is 21.3 times 10% equals plus or minus 2.13. 2. 
2. The effective range of the measured value is between 21.3 minus 2.13 and 21.3 plus 2.13. That is, from 19.7 to 23.43, which we mark on the number axis. It can be directly on the number line that except 18.9 the other five of the six tests are within the effective interval, meeting the requirement that one exceeds plus or minus 10% of the arithmetic average value. Therefore, remove 18.9 and take the arithmetic average value of the remaining five measured values as the representative value. 3. Step 3. Determine the results. Representative value of 3-day compressive strength. 21.3 plus 21.8 plus 19.9 plus 23.1 plus 22.7 divided by 5 equals 21.8 megapascals. Finally, we calculate the representative value of 28-day compressive strength. 1. Step 1. Calculate the average value. The arithmetic average value of six measured values is 45.2 plus 47.6 plus 46.7 plus 48.3 plus 49.8 plus 48.8 divided by 6 equals 47.7 megapascals. Step 2. Determine the deviation. 1. Plus or minus 10% of the arithmetic average value is 47.7 times 10% equals plus or minus 4.77. 2. The effective range of measured values is between 47.7 minus 4.77 and 47.7 plus 4.77 or between 47.7 times 1 minus 10% and 47.7 times 1 plus 10%. That is, from 42.93 to 52.47. 3. It is directly visible on the number line. All six measured values are within the effective range. Therefore, the average value of six measured values is taken as the result. 3. Step 3. Determination of results. Representative value of 28-day compressive strength. 47.7 megapascals. We summarize the above calculation results as follows. We observe the 3-day and 28-day compressive strength and flexural strength, which meet the requirements of grade 42.5 ordinary cement according to the standard values in the standard. Therefore, the strength grade of ordinary Portland cement is grade 42.5. Summary. Today, we learned the method of judging cement strength results. The strategy is divided into three steps, and three different evaluation scenarios could be applied. Numerical axis method and relative deviation method can be used to determine the deviation. You should have a summary in time during learning. Be careful and patient in the calculation process. Check carefully and develop good study habits. Please think about the following case question. Do you know how to calculate the representative value of cement strength and determine the strength grade of the cement? That's all for this class. Thank you.